This is uh, my setup to test the 802.1x dynamic VLAN assignment uh, feature on the Brocade Mobility uh, Controller and Access Point. Um, what we have here is an RFS uh, 7000 controller here on the bottom. Um, and on top of that is a Brocade uh, FCX 48 port PoE. And over here we also have this uh, 7131 uh, access point. Um, so here's how it's, these three things are connected together. So the 7131 access point is connected um, via the GIGI PoE port here. And this GIGI PoE port here is then connected over here to um, port number two on the FCX. So port number two connects to the GIGI port on the 7131 access point. Next, on the RFS 7000 here down the bottom, this cable here is connected to uh, GIGI port one on the RFS 7000, and this GIGI port one on the RFS 7000 is then connected to port number four here on the FCX. So port number four connected to GIGI port one. As you can see here on the 70, on the RFS 7000, there are no other ports connected, right? The management port over here, not connected. The other three GIGI ports, not connected. So the only way in and out of the RFS 7000 is through port number one. Uh, next, we have here um, port number six. Port number six here on the FCX is then connected to my radius server. Uh, which I also use as my kind of like management console and you'll see that over in the other room um, because once I turn these things on it's just too loud and uh, I have to uh, take care of the management over in the other room. So anyway, that's, that's port number six connected to the radius server as well as the um, console I'll be using to manage this network. Okay, next is port number 10. Port number 10 is you'll see is configured to be a member of a VLAN 10. And I configured it to be a member of VLAN 10 so that when I dynamically assign wireless clients to VLAN 10, I wanted a quick and easy way to validate that my client was properly assigned to VLAN 10. And the way I'm gonna do that is, is, is through this. I connected VLAN 10, VLAN 10 here, right? I connected it to a rather cheap looking Soho gateway router device because I want the DHCP server on this guy to issue IP addresses to members connected to VLAN 10. And that's how I'm going to quickly verify that when somebody's assigned to VLAN 10, I check the IP address. If it is assigned an IP address from that little Soho gateway router, I know that it was properly assigned to VLAN 10. And I did the same thing here on port number 20. Port number 20 is a member of VLAN 20 on the FCX, so that when this port number 20 is also is connected to a different, another different little Soho gateway router that will give DHCP addresses in a different IP range and scope, so that when I assign wireless clients to VLAN 20, it will then get an IP address that I can quickly check and verify to make sure that that device was, yes, properly assigned to VLAN 20. So that's it. So those are the connections and the setup for the FCX, the RFS 7000, 7131. I'm gonna power these on and you're gonna hear how noisy it is. And once this is powered on and booted up, I'm gonna go over to the other room to show you how these devices have been configured and start the 802.1x dynamic VLAN assignment test on the Brocade Mobility product.